And welcome back to our live show. Our garden grill is going this morning, isn't it? It is, it is. <laughs> Leanne Fletcher is here with us this morning. You know, we don't have any apple trees in our backyard garden Not quite yet. yet. <laughs> we might. We, we never know what we're going to do. But, you know, you can get apples year-round, and you've got a great idea. I love those fried fruit pies. Yep. And this is a variation that while you got the grill going, you can make some dessert. Absolutely. And you can make this, again, this is a dessert that if you want to make it the night before and put it in the fridge, so that way you already have that going. And then, like you said, while you're cooking that meat, why not go ahead and make dessert too with it? I like that, a two first. So where yes, do we start? Absolutely. So um, this is, recipe is a little bit backward sometimes, but we're just going to make the dough. And that's why I said make it ahead of time. Now, again, you can buy for the, the pie crust that's in the refrigerated section and roll it out. That's my go-to. <laughs> and that's no problem at all. It's no problem at all. Um, but we can also make it too. Just takes a little bit more time um, mm -hmm. when you do that. So in here we just have about a cup of flour and some salt and then we're gonna just mix that up together. And then and no problem with the softened butter. <laughs> no problem with the softened butter. Um, usually we like to use cold butter, mm -hmm. but um, for TV purposes today, it's a little softened. <laughs> okay, so for the crust, we want it to crumble in. You want to crumble in that cold butter so that you have. So as cold as we can get it. As cold as you can get it. And again, you know, we, we'll, we'll work on a refrigerator back here or, you know, like an ice bucket that That's we can right. keep some of this cold stuff in. Um, but just add in, again, even with the cold one, you want to add in little pieces at a time. Um, with it, you can pre-cut it beforehand or, um, if it, if it does get um, a little harder, or just cut it with a knife um, as you go. Because the idea is you want it to see little bits of butter in your crust. Absolutely, because that is what's going to give it uh, flavor. flavor. If you do not have the cold butter, it just it doesn't compile um, together with that. Mm -hmm. So we just mix in that together, and then again, same thing. Um, this, I did have ice in it, so it actually is a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, at one time, we're just going to slowly add in that water. And as we slowly add in that water, you can see that it's getting crumbled up in there, that and that's quick. exactly what we want. Exactly what we want. I like um, when you it. come in because you show us that we don't have to go to the refrigerator section to get a pie crust or the freezer section. We can make it, and it's very simple. It is. It's very simple, and not only that, it doesn't have the preservatives in there. Mm -hmm. You know exactly what's in there. It's butter, it's flour, a little bit of salt, and water. That's it. That's it. That's all that's in there. And make this ahead of time. This is a pie crust, again, that you can use for to make pies um, or to make little tarts like this. Pop it in your fridge, you know, for 10, 15 days. Just make sure it's ziplocked really, really good. Mm -hmm. And you can pull it out whenever you want to. Oh, I like that. So, And it, it's done. So put that in the fridge at that point. Put it in the fridge overnight, preferably, just covered. Um, and that will give it that chill and give it a little bit of stiffness. All right. So, so when it comes out, we've got so we come out, pre made rounds. <laughs> it's already pre round. So it's going to come out in a ball. Roll it out on your flour pan. Do not worry about trying to find cookie cutters that are this size. Mm -hmm. This is actually cut. You can use a bowl. Turn the bowl upside downwards. You can. A lot of times you have tops that are on dressings or whatever it is. That's all that you have to worry about doing mm -hmm. with that. And then what we're going to do is actually make our filling that goes inside of it. So we have pecans here. Um, and then we have about a cup of apples chopped up um, for it. For those. Are those fresh apples? Those are just um, fresh apples. And oh, we just okay. cooked them off a little bit just so that it'll get a little soft. Um, for that, but just cook them just a little bit so they do still have that crunchiness, but it does have that little softness. Right, because they're not going to cook inside. It's not going to cook the time inside. that you have it on the Absolutely grill. Absolutely not. Um, and then use about a fourth cup of sugar. So granulated sugar and brown sugar. And brown sugar. That's going to give you both of those. And then we're going to add a little bit of vanilla inside. And then with that, you're just going to mix this nicely together here. And again, it's just to give you. You can add anything. If you prefer walnuts versus, pecan, versus pecans, put the walnuts in there. If you want to do some raisins inside, change it up. Maybe it's peach season mm. and you want to do some peaches inside of there, go for it. Now, I will tell you what will give it another little texture um, and flavor is add craisins to this. Oh, that's great. Now, can you show us really quickly yeah, how to absolutely. roll this up because we're running out of time. No we problem. We want to show people how to make this. Put that right there inside. And then we're just going to take that, fold it over just like that. It's, it's very simple. Press it together. And then as we can see, we already have some of them grilling here on the grill, um, ready to go. And just cook them for probably about four or five minutes on each side, flip oh, so them over. On each side, so yeah. they're, they're actually kind of just frying over they there. They are, just a little <laughs> bit of oil on there. And I don't put them right on the grill. I like to put that Reynolds wrap down, put a little bit of oil on it. And then, like I said, four or five minutes on each side. Everything's already cooked. So it's just getting that nice crispiness on that. Now, when you're dough. finished cooking it, could you put it on the grill? Just get a little grill mark oh, on there yeah. if you wanted to. Absolutely. So you can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll put the recipe for Leanne's, recipe, uh, for Leanne's um, caramel apple, what, do you, what are we calling these? Caramel apple fritters. Fritters on our website at WTBR.com slash VTM.